I'm wondering if any of your team at the Fatima Center was aware of the events surrounding Cardinal Siri and the, shall we say, perplexing election which took place in 1958. Apparently it was the subject of two FBI investigations which are now declassified and which reveal conclusively the Cardinal Siri was almost unanimous, unanimously known to be Pius XII's hand-picked successor. He was elected Pope and took the name Gregory XVII. So, Pius XII died, I think it was October the 9th, 1958, and sometime later that month, there was a conclave and an election, and of course there were only 70 cardinals at that time, and Cardinal Siri obviously is one of the cardinals, and uh, there, there are certainly a lot of people claiming that. I have no reason to, nothing, information I have tells me that it could not have happened. So, mm -hmm. what the, the story goes that when he was elected, Someone broke the, um, the rules of the conclave and told somebody who was on the other side of a door or something like that, and, and uh, word came back that powers that be wouldn't want him to be there, and threats were made against him, and he decided he declined the election after being elected. Mm -hmm. Simply, but it's possible he was elected, but to be elected, it requires two things. Of course, one is to have the two-thirds of the cardinals plus one vote for you, you know, legitimately in, in a conclave. And the second thing is for you to accept yes. the election. Now, apparently, the first part of the conditions was, were met in, in as much as he was elected. But it's the second part which makes him the Pope. After being elected, he has to say, I, I accept. accept. Yes. Okay. It's like the so, I do in marriage. Yes. That's yes. right. And this is where, uh, this, the, the, so there are people who, who claim that since Cardinal Siri was elected and since uh, he was interfered with, therefore he's, he was elected. He, is, he was the Pope. Yeah. Yeah. But but the fact is that, first of all, I, I remember meeting one of the leading St. Vicantists from France. This gentleman told me the story, and not as I say, not just myself, but he told a number of people the story, that uh, he met Cardinal Siri. I think it would be towards the end of his life, uh, I would say 1989, I might have the year wrong, but sometime around there. So he says he spoke French very well. So he asks the question of this cardinal in French, uh, Cardinal Siri, were you elected Pope? You know, and so the answer, the, the description, though, I'm, I'm not a very good actor, so, but I would give, try and give the description. <laughs> what happened was, so he said, immediately Cardinal Siri put both his hands over his face and put his head down, and he held this position for several minutes. And then he got up and took his hands away, and the Frenchman describes this, you know, in those two minutes, he aged 20 years. And uh, so, and then, then the answer was given by Colonel Sir. He said, I can't answer that question because I'm bound by the conclave vow of secrecy. And so I stopped right there. I said, that proves it. I said, if he were the Pope, he could break the conclave secret. He has that power. He's not he, bound by the vow. He's, he's not bound by the vow. He's bound by the vow. He's never Pope. Now, I'm not saying he wasn't elected, but he's yeah. not Pope. Yeah. End of discussion. Yes, I think. I mean, I, I, mean, I spoke that way yeah. to everybody at the same time. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a very good point. And, and I think, too, the subsequent history of Cardinal Siri would show that he wasn't a hidden Pope because yeah. he took part in what, two conclaves yeah. after that. So he would be taking part in a conclave, being Pope, pretending yeah. that he's not, yes. giving public obeisance to men who he knows are not Pope, yes. 
you know, what sort of man was he? Yeah. if he was pope he didn't like the second vatican council he said he said if the council if the if um uh if the church were not divine the council would have buried it yeah. he wasn't he wasn't fond of what happened to vatican II, but he still went along with certain yeah. aspects of it yeah. and if he were pope there would be no reason yes. for him to well i would say degrade himself yeah. Yeah. and you know and put himself under the yoke of this council yeah. which according, if the theory is true, was called and run by men who weren't popes. Yeah.